you for hanging with us here on Colorado and Company. I'm Denise Plant. Freedom Service Dogs of America helps fund the rescue care and training of man's best friend for veterans. The entire team is gearing up for a really big celebration and here with all the details, Blake Johnson and of course, Cargo, this awesome service dog ambassador. Good to see you. Thank you, you as well. So let's meet Cargo. Tell me a little bit about Cargo and why uh, he was selected for the ambassador. So Cargo is now about seven and a half years old mm -hmm. And he was originally paired as a service dog with a woman in a wheelchair. And she passed away and oh. Cargo came back to us. Part of our agreement with our clients is that if something happens or they can't care for the dog, we always want them back. We don't want them going back to rescue, back to a shelter. Right. So we got him back. And by that point, he was a little bit too old to become a service dog for someone else. Mm -hmm. So he became our ambassador dog. And uh, ambassador dog, and I ambassador love that, dog. instead of the ambassador, the ambassador dog. <laughs> and what are the duties of the ambassador dog? Well, right now, I mean, people come out in droves to see cargo. So really, they don't come to hear us talk, they come to see him. And what he can do, he's got a number of skills, hundreds of commands he knows. He travels around wow. just kind of doing PR for us. Such a sweet Raising heart. awareness and just being adorable. What is the training like for a service dog? It's rigorous for sure. Really? So once we acquire the dogs, we do some evaluation at Freedom Service Dogs. And then the ones that seem like they're gonna be at least a potential fit for a service dog mm -hmm. gets sent then to the canine prison training program. And that can be upwards of three months. Um, and then when they come back, then they start their specialized training for whatever they're gonna do for the clients because it's gonna be different for every single client. My goodness. And what types of disabilities do service dogs help with veterans on a daily basis? You know, it, it's unbelievable what a service dog can do. It could be anything from just calming someone down with post-traumatic stress disorder. Mm -hmm. It could be turning on lights, opening doors, really? moving laundry. That's the thing are people are most kidding surprised. Me? I am not kidding. It's wow. remarkable what you can train a dog to do. Okay, I wanna give out your phone number because I'm sure there are plenty of veterans that are watching that may need help. And first off, thank you for your service. But if you need any help, call and see if the service dog is right for you. 303-922-6231 is the number to call. Again, it's 303-922-6231 or freedomservicedogs.org. So what makes a veteran eligible to get a service dog? Well, so it's, um, it's a labor intensive process. So without going way into depth, I would say the best possible option is to contact us because there are a number of things to fall into place, but many different disabilities can qualify for that, whether emotional, physical, missing limbs, but mm -hmm. it's it's a process. And so I would say call Freedom Service Dogs, contact us for sure. Okay, again, that number 303-922-6231. Please do reach out and call. Where do you find the dogs? So we rescue them or pull them from shelters. Um, you know, some of them are just They've either been found as strays and they're now in an animal shelter. Some have come from surrounding states, also animal shelters from there. So we try to always bring in shelter dogs. We do have a few that were donated to us, mm -hmm. but other than that, they're all shelter dogs. It's such a fabulous idea and really organization that they, it was founded in 1987. It was. Okay. And years ago. Freedom Service Dogs has paired hundreds of client dog teams and this is a no cost to the veteran, right? That's to me one of the most incredible things yes. about our story is that not only are they getting a great dog that can truly change their lives, but the cost to train these dogs is somewhere between twenty-five and thirty thousand dollars a dog, wow. and it's at no cost to the client. So quite an investment. It's what a, a wonderful investment. way to say thank you to veterans for their service. Exactly. Really, um, exactly. reach out. It's their thirtieth anniversary celebration. We want you to reach out, and maybe they can pair you with the perfect service dog. This will work. 303-922-6231. Now our viewers can actually help raise money. Like you said, it could cost up to thirty thousand dollars to sure. train a dog by attending your 30th anniversary celebration. Absolutely, anything helps. Um, because there are no cost to the clients, private donations, corporate donations, um, that, all of that makes a huge impact. But our, we're having this big celebration for two big milestones with Freedom Service Dogs. That's our 30th anniversary, like right. you mentioned. And the other thing is the grand opening of our new facility. Oh, And so we're inviting the public out to do a little tailgating. Very fun. That's cute. <laughs> and we're going to do. We're You're gonna full of puns <laughs> today. Dog ambassador. You just got a glimpse of what my husband's life is like. <laughs> so we will have food trucks. We're going to have Breckenridge Brewery is there. Good. Um, 
we've, we're going to have tours so you can see the facility. Oh, wow. You can meet some of the dogs in training as well as some of the dogs that chose other career paths and have decided to just be pets. Where's the new facility at? It's down by Dove Valley where okay. the Broncos practice. So it's Very at, cool. on South Dillon, 7193 South Dillon Court. Okay, and can you tell me how are the dogs paired with the veterans? What's the process like? It's a really good question. So after they come back from that prison training, and they're going through um, their own, you know, specific training. What we start to do is pair clients based on the wait list mm -hmm. to the dogs that we have, and that could be by size, that could be by temperament, that could be by um, the skills that the dog is really good at. So it, again, because everything is a custom training, it kind of just depends on what the client needs. Right, quickly, we have 30 seconds left, and yes. I really want to get in to find out how can our viewers help continue this wonderful mission of Freedom Service Dogs, pairing a dog absolutely free to veterans. Yes. Uh, we always need volunteers, mm -hmm. foster families, so the dogs can just be dogs and go home every once in a while. Cool. Always donations. Come out and support us in any way you can. Tell your friends anything that you can do. Um, donations in terms of toys, anything. All right. Well, let me give out the information. Thank you for You're coming welcome. on. Welcome. Thanks for having Cargo, us. Cargo, it was so nice to meet you. <laughs> yes, what a sweet little dog you are, sweetheart. Okay, it's a 30th anniversary celebration, not to miss. Now, in dog years, that's 210 years. Especially trained canines have been serving disabled veterans. The place to be is June 22nd, 5 p.m. at 7193 South Dillon Court in Inglewood. The location of the new Freedom Service Dog Building so make sure you check it out. If you'd like to learn more, visit freedomservicedogs.org. That's freedomservicedogs.org or call 303-922-6231. That number again is 303-922-6231.